Hello everybody, Scrapmaster here. Welcome back to another episode of what I'd like to call Competitive 101. Alright, so, last episode we went over um, IVs, EVs, and Natures and what they did for your stats. So, this episode, it's going to be a little bit lengthier than last time because I'm going to go over moves. Now, you, you know, we have certain categories of moves. Two, actually, really. I, I don't... I'm pretty sure you could get more um, more specific with the categories, but I'd like to be general with it. You have offensive, and then you have support moves. Okay, now offensive moves are basically anything that goes f that ranges from like basically attacking. That's really all offensive, you know, just attacking the opponent. Support moves are the less popular ones, especially amongst those that aren't competitive. Support moves are are things that you usually don't like using if you're like doing a normal campaign in the game but if you're competitive you understand the importance of support moves and how game changing they can really be alright so let's go into hot dogs move set here hot dog my my I love Arcanine he's just he, he's saved me so many times before anyways let's look at his move set he's got flare blitz wonderful stab Stab is, um, it stands for same type attack bonus, it's, um, you know, using a move the same type of your Pokemon that you get more damage from it, right? The multiplier is higher. And then you have, uh, that's a great move, you get the recoil, 10% 10% 10 chance of burn, and then we have wild charge, that's, um, one-fourth recoil, that's 25% of my health gone every time you use that. Now, look at this, we have Will-O-Wisp. Now, at first, um, so let's just say you're playing the game normally. Da 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 da. da, da. Oh, hey, look, Will O Wisp. What use does this have for my, say, Arcanine? Okay, so Arcanine, it's okay. Forget about the whole Arcanine thing. Will O Wisp. It's a wonderful support move. It not only does it burn your opponent for twelve percent damage every turn. I believe it's twelve percent. Yes, it's twelve percent. Shut up, I did not question myself. 12% damage, um, residual damage every turn. That is big. That is very big. That is very significant and you don't understand it if you aren't um, competitive. If you are competitive, you understand it, you love it, and you hate it. I hate it, I love it. You, you'll you understand once we get into it. Will-O-Wisp is very significant for, um, for um, two reasons. First reason is for that it can... Um, obviously give residual damage every turn, 12% of that. That is very big. And then the second reason is that it cuts your opponent's attack, physical attack, in half. Like, that, that's something, if you're not competitive, you don't know. And if you're newly competitive, you might not know this until you run into, say, your Garchomp being burned, and you're all of a sudden, you're not able to kill, um, say, a Manectric in one shot anymore with Earthquake. You're just like, Oh, what the crap? How come Garchomp isn't doing stuff? So, Will O Wisp, it's it cuts your um your physical attack in half. That's just how it is. It's wonderful for like it's wonderful because my Arcanine is a um it's meant to be a wall. It's a Walcanine, you know. A lot of people don't like it because it can be used much more hyper offensively. But me being a pri but with me maining the UU tier, a lot of you that m maybe play UU as well, or not... Don't worry about tiers! Shut up! Anyways, my play style is more about bulkiness. My Arcanine does well all around. He does well offensively. He does well bulkly... Bulk... <laughs> bulkly. He does well in his tankiness, and its role is mainly just to, um, you know, take those hits that... My maybe my other Pokemon can't say like see um I bolt a Slurpuff using a it used Belly Drum that gives boosts attacks by four times that's a free plus six in its attack stat um at the cost of half of his HP it bolts an attack from a Slurpuff with four times attack. Okay, I should, probably shouldn't talk about that right now. So, um, anyways, Willowus, great move. 
wonderful, wonderful effect, great stuff. I've been talking about Willibus for the past, past three minutes. You guys want me to move on. All right, Morning Sun. Obviously, it's useful because my Arcanine's role is to be a wall. I can't have my walls dying. I, honestly, I can't have any of my Pokemon dying on me. But sometimes you have to learn how to cut losses and let it die. But obviously, I'm not willing to let Arcanine die that easily. Morning Sun heals my HP by a weather-dependent amount. That means under normal weather and circumstances, I'll heal 50%. Under the sun, I'll heal more. I think that's 75%. I believe... I'm, I'm not sure. I want to say that if you're in rain, but I, I can't say that. I don't know because only thing I know is that sun affects these type of moves. Let's move on! So, we also have... Yeah, okay. So, under support, you have um, a bunch of categories for support moves. You know, offensive has only, like, that, you know, they just attack. But under support moves, you have, like, hazards. You have um, support. <laughs> support, yeah. You have statuses. You have... That's really it. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to Galley's world. Galley is my um, is my lead, primarily whenever I play in, whenever I battle. So she does her job well. She is mostly offensive, but she also has a wonderful move introduced this generation called Sticky Web. I think it was introduced this gen. Yeah, it was introduced this gen. Sticky Web now. Sticky Web lowers the speed of opposing Pokemon switched in. Now this is what we call a hazard. This hazard changes the way, honestly, um, you, you, it completely changes the way people build teams and battles in you, you. But we'll, we'll get into that maybe in two or three more episodes from now. Probably in the next one. Anyways, Sticky Webs, it's very, it's very prominent. I wouldn't say prominent because you only see usage in you, you, mostly. Anyways, it's a really good stat, um, hazard. It lowers the speed of your opponent of the opposing Pokemon switching in. That lowers your speed. Um, I think one stat drop in speed is um, you cut you're cut in half, so your speed will be cut to half of what it is. So I believe so. It's whatever your speed is dropped one stage. That's detrimental to you. That helps my team be faster than yours. So, and there's other moves like Stealth Rocks, there's um, Spikes, Toxic Spikes. There's really not much under the category of Hazards, but they're very... But when you do... But because of that, when you do get to such Hazards, people are just like, Oh my god, what am I gonna do? You know. Anyways, here we have my wonderful friend, Eggshell. Togetic is probably better used as Togekiss, but in the tier that I'm playing in, I can only use Togetic. Togekiss is BL, that's the... I'll shut up now. Okay, so she has a full support role. One moment, please. I need to do something really quick. Boom. Okay. Anyways. Let's go to her first support move, Heal Bell. This is completely... This, th this is a wonderful move to have. It's always great to carry a variant of Heal Bell, a, a variant of any move that heals the statuses on your team. Ah! Heal Bell, Aromatherapy, I don't think there are any others. They're very useful. They're always good to have. It's not really a wasted slot because... Toxic, Will-O-Wisp, Thunder Wave, those are very common very common use you com they're very commonly used and you know um, it helps if you're able to get rid of that when you're you know because your opponent sometimes your opponent relies on these statuses to cripple your team and if you can like say keep them from being crippled it helps you more than it helps them to keep using the status you know and sometimes people are really stubborn and keeps using those statuses even though you can like get rid of them fairly easily anyways next move wish this is an amazing move one of my most favorite status moves second to protect because protect has so many uses you don't even know 
We'll get to that later. Anyways, wish. Let's forget everything else. Wish. It, it's a two-turn move. Generally, people don't like two-turn moves, but this is one two-turn move everyone makes an exception for, right? Right. You'll make an exception for it because it's badass. So, first turn, it casts a wish. Second turn, 50% of your HP is restored. Okay, let me get this straight. 50% of the user's max HP is restored. You can also, that means, since uh, Togetic is like, basically you get 50% of your HP back, but let me just explain this easily. Um, Togetic, 294 HP. What the crap? That is really low. I didn't notice that. Whatever. It'll get half of that back when it, you know, uses Wish. Another good use for Wish is that it's called Wish Passing. You use Wish, and you switch into, say, my Dawn Fan, and say Dawn Fan's low on HP. Oh no, I'm going to die. But wait! Wish restores that HP back. Woo! Yes. Yes. Joker take you the real MVP. Anyways, Wish, it, it's very, you know, uh, nothing can really explain it better than it's really good, really helpful. Moving on! We are exactly where I wanted to be. Okay, so Rapid Spin falls actually under both categories of um, offensive and support. See, it's more support rather than offensive because Rapid Spin has very low base damage. 20, 20 base power, base damage, whatever you want to call it. It also gets rid of all hazards on the field and also frees the user from partial traps or leech seed. So what this means is that Say your opponent has this plethora of hazards on top of leech seeding you. They've got stealth rocks, they've got toxic spikes, toxic spikes, they got spikes, they have sticky webs, they also have leech seed. You use this move, all of that is gone. This is a wonderful move to have. More so in the lower tiers, and I'll shut up about tiers because we're not into that yet. Anyways, it's really great to have. Moving on! Now, I said that, um, I, wow, this is actually the same length as the other video. Do I want to stop now and make this four minute section of the video? No, let's keep going. So, for offensive moves and support moves, you have what we call priority. Priority, basically, it's the category, well, you know, priority. Priorities come first, which leads to this, um, all, most moves have a priority of, um, a normal priority, basically. That means the pers the Pokemon that moves first is based on their speed. So, most of the time, god damn it, okay. Most of the time, with this 136 speed, Dawn fans, not, um, Dawn fans moves without priority, like Rapid Spin, Earthquake, and Play Rough, that was out of order. Rapid Spin, Earthquake, and Play Rough, they'll, they more than likely won't go first because of how slow it is. However, we have Ice Shard. Now, if you look at the description of these moves, it says, usually goes first. That means it has higher priority than normal attacks. Ice Shard is actually at a plus one priority, as are many moves in the same category. Um, priority, it just means that it'll go first. It's in a higher tier of priority. You know. If you understand priorities, you'll understand priority moves. Very easy. So, what happens, Andy, if two Dawn fans used Ice Shard? That's very simple to answer. It's a 50 50 chance. Both Dawn fans have the same speed, assuming they both have the same speed, and the person I'm fighting isn't isn't smart enough to give one IV, I mean, uh, four EVs in a speed, speed, dope, speed, to their Dawn fan, like I'm about to do now, because that would help me a lot. Anyway, <laughs> um, then they'll have the same chance of either moving, you know, moving first. Okay, that was a horrible explanation. Let me just do it again. Two Pokemon use Ice Shard. Since they're in the same tier of priority, the one that is faster goes first. 
Now, if they both have the same speed, it's a 50-50 chance to see which goes first. Also, there are higher tiers of priority. For instance, I believe protect is a priority of plus four. Not many moves have that priority. I believe King's Shield is the only other move that has that same priority. Then we have Fake Out, which has a plus three priority. Wonderful move. Almost always goes first because nothing else has plus three priority or higher except for protecting King's Shield. Anyways, Fake Out, help, you know, insta flinch that Pokemon. Love that on Ambipom. Technician Ambipom, you the MVP. Anyways. You have all these, you know, different priority moves and all that such, and it's... Generally, they have a base damage of 40, if they're offensive, like Ice Shard, and then there's Aqua Jet, and then there's Bullet Punch, and then there's... Shadow Sneak, and then there's... Vacuum Wave, and then there's a uh, Fake Out, I think that's 40. Anyways... They're not too strong because they go. F they usually they're in a higher tier priority. And they usually go first, and I mean, if I can go first, and I'm and it's like very strong, I probably wouldn't like it if my opponent did that to me. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Wait, there's nothing to move on to. Wait, yes, there is. So if you can have heightened priority, then obviously you can have lowered priority. What this means is that there are moves that will put you below a normal priority and make you move last, most of the time. Moves like Whirlwind or Roar, they have a minus, wait, that's not just minus one, is it? It's like minus, um, hold on, let me just look at it real quick then. Uh, no, I'm not, I want to look at the description, okay. Eh, whatever. Ah, okay. Anyways, um, these moves, okay, Trick Room, there we go. I think it's minus seven priority. Trick Room, it will almost, absolutely, always go last. Because you have minus priority. It's, shut up. Priority. It can either make you go fat, fur, fast, or fur, fur. It can either make you go first. Or it can make you go last. It depends on the move, and it depends on the tier of priority that it's in. Now, I should probably end the video. So, thank you very much for watching, and uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. I know I keep uh, doing that. I keep going uh, in the middle of my video, but I don't really rehearse it. I just jump right into it. I talk about what I know based off of this thing right here, and um, this is what happens, so bye-bye.